<clears throat> it is with a great satisfaction that I can say, here is the clone lieutenant. We finally got him. And I'm so happy we finally did. Is he perfect? No. Uh, is he? Does he satisfy me? Yes. Uh, and let's just get it right off the bat. The main two problems people have is the weathering, because they feel like it doesn't really match with the other ones. And I have to agree, it doesn't really match, but then again, they already stopped matching as soon as they made the sergeant, because the sergeant is not even the same shade of white as the other ones. Uh, and then, like, you can see the paint quality and, like, the plastic qualities, how they, like, differed over time. It's it's kind of funny. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, he, like, that, they already didn't match. I wish he didn't have the weathering, personally, but I'm not really too bothered by it. It's all right. It looks decent. It's a little cheap looking. It looks like they just painted it and then they just, like, scraped some off. But it's not too bad. Uh, but then the biggest issue people have is the shade of blue. Let's just get this out of the way now. It is too dark. It is. It is too dark. Like, here, let's compare it with some other lieutenant figures they've made. There's, like, one of the first ones. You can see kind of, you know, kind of a little lighter on this, but not as light. And the same story kind of goes for the, uh, the super articulated mold that they did later on. Same kind of story goes on that one. And then my favorite version, the Attack of the Clones box set one. You know, same kind of shade of blue as those other ones we already saw. A little lighter, but not significantly lighter. But then the issue comes in with the Vintage Collection one, where a lot of people feel like this is the default shade of the blue for the Clone Lieutenant, kind of like this lighter blue. And I have to agree. Uh, I personally feel like this is what the color should have been. But honestly, I don't really care too much. <laughs> you saw these guys standing around on Camino for like one second, and that's it. I'm not super worried about the shade of blue, and also, I, like, blue's my favorite color, and I'm very biased in this statement. This is, like, one of my favorite shades of blue <laughs> that they did on this figure, and I don't really like light blue as much, so I'm very biased in my being okay with his shade of blue. I'm very biased. Uh, I do fully acknowledge it is not the right shade. This is more of a 500 first to blue. If you got rid of the dots, and if you got rid of the white right there on the helmet, if you got rid of that, that not the white, that blue, the blue stripe connecting the fin and the black brow, you could just, you'd have a 500 first, you know, and you can do that if you want. But me personally, I, I like what they did. I like what they did. I have no problem with it. Um, well, when it comes to the blue, personally, I fully acknowledge it is not accurate. I do, but I am biased. I'm just saying this. If you don't like it, I fully understand. I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Anyways, here's the box. Did I mention this was a Walgreens exclusive? Yes, it just was an exclusive to Walgreens. Man, I'm kind of debating keeping this box or not, because I love that artwork so much. I did not keep the Camino Clone Trooper box, because um, I just, I don't really collect boxes that much. But I don't, man, I don't really have a copy of this box kept yet, and I'm thinking... Like, for now, I'm going to have this one. I'm going to hold on to this one because I love that artwork so much. There's the readout for the clone lieutenant up there. Then, look at that art, man. It's so cool. Still don't like the gray in the back. It looks really kind of lame. Just looks bland. It, it looks too bland to me. But the rest of the new box style, I really do enjoy. So, yep, there we go. He is the first figure from the Attack of the Clones range. With that being said, let's get this out of the way. Let us show him with his brothers. So here is the clone lieutenant, front and center. And here he is with the clone captain that suffered from, like, that icky plastic that somehow got stained and yellowed really easily. It will wash off. I need to do that. But yeah, like, you can see right off the bat they don't match because his plastic is so much glossier. And it doesn't have the weird stain swirlies in it. I've seen so many copies of the old uh, Stormtrooper and the clone that have those issues. Not just mine. Now granted, yeah, I probably should clean them. That would probably help. And here's the original Attack of the Clones clone. You can see the paint on the helmet. Far from perfect, but still I really like the helmet. Uh, and you can see the difference, the different sheen of the plastic. Like, especially look at that shoulder pad. Like, that is just pure matte. And look at the glossiness, like especially on the forearm. Look at that matte, glossy. Look at that difference. So there's that. Let's kind of put him off to the side, though. Then here is the completely off-white. Dang it! Here's the completely off-white sergeant. 
um, which kind of has more of an olive green, which I personally don't feel like the Sergeant was that olive. I personally don't, but it, you know what, it's fine. So he doesn't really have a green that matches, or he doesn't have a white that matches. Uh, he doesn't really have stripes that match. And then, last but certainly not least, um, is the, is the uh, commander, which sort of has the um, the shinier plastic, but it's not fully there yet. You can see it's still kind of matte, and he still kind of has the issue where he gets like the the like the discoloring from like just picking up icky gickies. So yep, here is our completed Attack of the Clones team, uh, and personally, I'm pretty happy with this. It's not perfect. Um, none of them really match entirely because this came out in like 2014. I think you were still 14. I think those two were 15. And then he's 2020. It took five years. Five years we've been waiting for this lieutenant. And it definitely shows that the quality of Black Series has improved. Because let's talk about something that I don't think people really acknowledged on the other ones. Look at the bottom of the chins on all of them on the commander on the sergeant on the lieutenant or not on the commander on the commander sergeant and captain and then look at the lieutenant see how the blue continues under that little black dot that's film accurate and the commander sergeant and captain all missed that detail so yeah that's great um he does not have the red at the tip i feel like he should still have it uh i don't I think he should, right? I think he should still have the red at the tip. Maybe not. Maybe I'm mistaken. But yes, um, that's a detail that all the others missed. And you can definitely see with the paint quality and like the shininess, five years difference, the lieutenant looks really good. Uh, yeah, that weathering definitely does make him stand out a little bit, but he, he fits in, in my opinion. He fits in. He's definitely my favorite out among all these. I'm definitely biased. The lieutenant's always been my favorite. Um, anything else to really mention? Um, yeah, there's that chin thing, the weathering, the blue. Um, he, he's a good figure. The mold hasn't really degraded over time. You still have the rifle and the carbine. So you do still get both of those. We've seen those for how many years now? I'm not really going to go over those again. But he does have the good clone articulation from this older mold that I kind of still prefer. Um, cause honestly, I just, I just prefer this older mold to the new one. I'm sorry I do. Yeah, you can see just one odd thing though. It's like his hips click. You hear that? I don't know why his hips sort of click. But yeah, his articulation is really retained. Look how nice and shimmery that plastic is. I really do enjoy that. Part of me wishes they'd go back and remake the other ones now in like a, in a box set. I mean, I'd buy them, but yeah, I, I really do like this. One thing I do have to mention though. Uh, unfortunately, his paint was not perfect around the visor. There is some white that was kind of in between the black and the blue. Not very ideal. But if you just take a black Sharpie, a fine point black Sharpie, and you just kind of shoop, shoop, and then take your thumb and sort of wipe away the excess, what do you know? It looks really good now. It looks really good. <laughs> and personally, um, I really didn't mind doing that even though I feel like it should have looked that good from the get-go. So, yeah, there we go. There is our new Black Series Clone Lieutenant. Here is the Clone Lieutenant. We finally got him in 6-inch Black Series. Hasbro actually completed the team. Uh, it's been a long time since Hasbro has made a full set of this team. Uh, we're still missing the pilot to complete all of the Attack of the Clones clones, but hopefully we'll get the pilot someday. I like it to still be on the old mold, but I doubt it. Um, I think they're probably going to be done with the old mold after the lieutenant. I'm happy they still made the lieutenant on the old mold, though, so he still matched. Uh, and I prefer the old mold. Uh, maybe my mind will be changed on the new mold, though, as they end up making more, because we're already going to get the uh, 332nd. Which, Walmart delayed my pre-order, even though... <laughs> they delayed my pre-order on the 332nd, uh, even though I pre-ordered it instantly. And it's already showing up in droves in Canada. So, yeah... Good job, Walmart. Good job. Please don't cancel my order. For the love of God, do not cancel my order. I, I cannot be stressing out over finding a Walmart exclusive clone trooper. I cannot. I cannot do that. Alrighty. Here we go. Clone Lieutenant. Said and done. Here's my review. 
I really like him. He's not perfect, but I'm biased, and I like what they did with him. I personally kind of like the weathering. It's not perfect, but I personally kind of like it. I like I like the shade of blue. I'm biased. I know it's not perfect. It's not exactly accurate, but it does do a couple other things that are more accurate. It does have a better sheen of white. It does. It is better on paper than the others. But yeah, there we go. We did it. Here's the clone lieutenant.